bucket full of water and swing it around your head and you won't get wet. Centrifugal force, of course, keeps the water in place. So will that force work on a roller coaster? Armed with cups each of popcorn and drink, there's only one way to find out. This coaster has the required section of loop the loop. So will these lab rats stay dry or get sticky with the excitement? A fast start and some challenging hairpins throw up an immediate problem. A fair amount of spillage from the cups over both Ride and Brainiac, an inconvenient but not terminal problem. There should be enough of the contents remaining in the cups for the crucial over-the-top section of the course. Any object which travels in a circle appears to experience an outward force. The larger the object and the faster the rotation, the greater this force. Big enough, though, on a coaster? The section in question is now in sight. Up, round and over. So, did it all stay in place? An inspection of the evidence tells the story. Nothing spilt, not one drop. It all stayed in place. They were messy to start, but no messier after the loop. And they had enough at the end to get a good splashing on the homeward journey. So, there it is. Centrifugal force living and well on the roller coasters of Britain. Brainiac Fairground Science, so you don't have to.